Hello guys, this is a quick demo of a new feature, pretty important feature in our 2019 version of Quick Admin Panel. It's API Generator with Laravel Passport Auth. And we had API Generator for a while, but uh, today we've released a new version with this checkbox. Generate API CRUD, which would generate not only CRUD, but all the authentication mechanism. And I will show you in this demo how it actually works. So imagine you have transactions CRUD with some fields and you all you need to do is tick that chat box generate API CRUD and what we have in the code. So in the code we have this API route which is uh, has prefix, has namespace and has middleware. We'll talk about middleware a little later and we have API resource, standard thing. Then the controller with index function and controller has the resource. Resource is just default to array. So nothing too fancy here, we can do API request. But then this comes in and this uh, uses authphp driver passport. Driver passport means that there are, there's Laravel passport needs to be installed. And if we go to our composer JSON, which is also generated, uh, here we have Laravel passport here. And of course, then I need to install the passport. After doing composer install, there is a special command called uh, passport install. And the result of that, this is what I've done, the seeding, the, the migration and seeding. And in the background, you see the postman. I will show you that in a bit. But first, I need to install the passport. And I receive client ID and client secret. And if we see in the database, we have it here auth clients so two clients are generated and we will use one of them to make the request so to make the request uh, via laravel passport with auth in postman we actually make two requests so first request is for the token and we pass the client id and the secret from those so these ones i've copied and pasted here and we pass username and password of a real user of our database which is this one by default we generate the first user with our quick admin panel it's admin admin.com and password so this and we should receive access token if we try to send again loading and the result is access token which we need to copy and paste in the second request for the actual data and here i have that prepared already the api transaction request and we just copy and paste the token into here with bearer token. With Postman, it's pretty easy to, to pass that. We click send, and if we have some data, it will be returned. If we edit any of the symbol which make the token incorrect, we will have unauthenticated. Unauthenticated, that's uh, number one auth um, kind of authentication, but there is another thing, unauthorized. So for example, if one of your users uh, don't have permission to that particular function, in our database we have roles and permission system, and we have permissions, for example, transactions access. It's for the list of transaction, and in the controller here, you may have seen this one. Abort if, gate denies, and if uh, the gate is not active for that particular user, they will get 403. So for example, uh, if we authenticate the user number one, which is row also number one, but let's let's delete the permission with permission transaction access, which is ID 21 from, uh, from role ID one. Let's remove that role and let's see if that user doesn't have permission. And then even if we do return the correct token, wait, what is it? So the token is here, we copy here and paste. Probably I expect to have unauthenticated. Yeah, 403 forbidden, which is the same thing, but just uh, covered by, by Laravel auth gates. And if we get it back to row ID one and permission ID 21, we repeat the same query, same request, and we get the data. So this is our new kind of shiny thing, uh, how you can use API uh, generator with Laravel Passport. 